Dear viewers, Welcome back to our channel. Gao Fonglin, hailed as that first person of welding rocket's heart in China, has led a legendary life. How did he transform from an ordinary welder to a significant figure in China's aerospace industry, and how did he contribute to China's aviation dreams with his own hands? Let's step into Gao Fenglin's world together and explore his story. Gao Fenglin's life was not a smooth journey. He stumbled into the welding industry by accident but gradually honed his skills with love and perseverance for welding technology. He used sweat as ink and steel as paper to write his own life story. His efforts paid off, as he gradually made a name for himself in the industry, eventually becoming the leading welder for China's Rocket Hearts, earning him the nickname Golden Hands Welder of the Sky. He took great pride in witnessing the successful launches of missiles he participated in manufacturing, with a desire to serve his country through diligent work. His contributions extended to various major aerospace projects such as the Beda satellite and the Chang'e lunar probe. Gao Fonglin was born in 1962 into a poor family in Dongguang, Hebei province, enduring difficult years during the three-year period of natural disasters. At the age of five, his father passed away, leaving his mother to raise for children alone in extreme hardship. Despite the impoverished conditions, Gao Fonglin displayed exceptional intelligence and a passion for learning. With his mother's support, he excelled in school and entered a technical school with outstanding grades, intending to study mechanical engineering but ended up in the welding profession by chance, thus beginning his unbreakable bond with welding. After experiencing such setbacks, Gao Fenglin's initial enthusiasm quickly diminished. During that time, he felt confused about his future career path and lagged behind in professional skills. Upon consultation with his teacher and communication with the factory, a field trip was organized to the workshop. When Gao Fonglin saw the actual rocket welding equipment, his eyes widened involuntarily. A master in the workshop learned of Gao Fenglin's lack of interest in welding and began to provide him with psychological counseling, young man, do not underestimate the welding profession. Workers who master the welding technology for rockets are extremely rare. The master explained that welding was not only a craft closely related to money but also involved materials such as argon gas imported from Germany, valued at up to 60,000 yuan per bottle. In the field of missile manufacturing, the role of welders is crucial, with some missiles relying on welders for over 90% of their structure. As the master spoke, Gao Fenglin's attitude toward the welding profession gradually changed. According to the master, due to the preciousness of argon gas, in the welding industry, the most skilled argon arc welders are respected as golden hands and silver hands. Upon learning about the popularity of his profession, Gao Fenglin's enthusiasm for learning surged, striving to catch up and become a top student. A remark from a teacher during class ignited his determination to learn welding. Although his first attempt at welding during an internship was not smooth, he did not give up. Instead, he continued to improve his skills through observation, recording the experiences of his predecessors, and practicing diligently. His perseverance and diligence earned him the praise of the workshop leader. In order to achieve precise welding, Gao Fonglin underwent long-term rigorous self-training, using various scenarios in daily life to improve his operational skills and physical fitness. Even though he was considered eccentric by his classmates, he remained steadfast because he was dedicated to welding rockets. With ambitious goals in mind, Gao Fonglin was not content with mediocrity. Under rigorous training, he stood out with outstanding achievements and unwavering determination. In 1980, he graduated from technical school and joined the welding workshop of the China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology, relying on his superb skills and excellent academic performance. Despite his outstanding abilities, Gao Fonglin remained humble and continued to learn from his master, constantly improving his technique. In 1983, the development of the Long March 3rd rocket engine encountered difficulties, 
and GAO Fonglin proposed suggestions and participated in welding work, successfully solving the problem and winning the recognition of his seniors. Subsequently, 22-year-old GAO Fonglin faced a new technical challenge, a large-scale vacuum furnace system project blank in China. Due to the monopoly of foreign technology, the product qualification rate was as low as 35%. GAO Fonglin was assigned this cross-disciplinary task and firmly believed in the organization's decision, taking on the responsibility of producing qualified products within six months. To master the soft soldering technology, GAO Fonglin studied tirelessly day and night, researched equipment, and utilized library resources and internet data. Several months later, he mastered the relevant knowledge, demonstrated extraordinary skills, and completed welding tasks in just three hours, significantly improving the product qualification rate. Unsatisfied with this, he improved the production process through hundreds of experiments, increasing the product qualification rate to 90%, saving the country 700,000 yuan in material costs annually. Despite widespread acclaim, GAO Fonglin realized his shallow knowledge in engine technology and determined to continue learning and progressing. In 1988, GAO Fonglin left the 211 factory to study mechanical manufacturing at Capital University of Economics and Business. He practiced during the day and summarized at night, asking questions based on books, tirelessly studying for four years. Despite the fatigue, he achieved remarkable results in technical competitions and continued his education to the level of postgraduate studies. Subsequently, he applied cutting-edge knowledge to practice, solving national technical problems, proposing innovative welding processes in rocket design, and successfully driving the test bench work at critical moments to ensure timely completion of tasks. Astronaut Gao Fonglin dared to challenge in extreme working conditions, contributing to the country. In 2006, Nobel laureate Ding Zhaozhong sought his help to solve the problem of manufacturing the AMS-02 dark matter detector. Previously, 16 scientists from various countries failed to pass the scheme review due to poor adhesive properties of low-temperature superconducting magnets, affecting the instrument's functionality. GAO Fonglin proposed and perfected a new design scheme, successfully solving this global problem. GAO Fenglin's innovative design received unanimous recognition from experts at the International Alliance headquarters, bringing new insights to numerous scientists and engineers worldwide. His influence caused a significant stir in the fields of science and machinery, and this outstanding talent, hailed as the Chinese warrior, GAO Fenglin, gained international fame as a result. However, just as his achievements gained worldwide attention, some Western entrepreneurs began to covet his talent. Soon, a multinational company offered GAO Fonglin tempting conditions, promising that as long as he joined, he could not only serve as a senior executive of the company but also receive an annual salary eight times higher than his current one and solve his housing problem by moving into a luxurious villa. But GAO Fonglin remained unmoved and firmly rejected this temptation. No, I want to stay in China, he said resolutely. Only in China can I realize my aerospace dreams, only in welding positions can I fully realize my value. For GAO Fonglin, even in the face of the pinnacle of his life's honor, he did not change his dedication to his career and pursuit of his dreams. After firmly rejecting the multinational company, GAO Fonglin continued his work, adhering to his ordinary, passionate position. GAO Fonglin has long been committed to rocket welding work, making significant contributions. The engines he participated in welding accounted for nearly 40% of China's rocket launches, witnessing the country's strength and feeling immensely proud. Over more than 40 years of dedication, he solved more than 200 technical problems in numerous projects, filling multiple technological gaps. GAO Fonglin sees his value in contributing to the country. After dedicating himself to the country for many years, GAO Fonglin realized the limitations of individual power and began to focus on cultivating young talents. 
In 2011, he used his savings to establish a talent training base, teaching welding techniques in a one-on-one -on -one manner, patiently instructing disciples. This training method yielded significant results, with his team winning honors such as the National Vanguard and the National Excellent Team, producing many skilled technicians. GAO Fonglin emphasized the importance of respecting products and work. In 2016, he won the China Quality Award. Despite having multiple honors, he still personally worked on the production line while nurturing future industry talents. His studio was filled with medals, reflecting his steadfast dedication to the dream of a strong aerospace nation and his expectations for the new generation. Finally, let me summarize today's video hoping it provides you with some inspiration and value. GAO Fenglin's achievements were not achieved overnight. His journey at the Dongfeng missile launch site was filled with hardships and challenges. Each welding task was like a race against time, and every drop of sweat embodied his love and responsibility for the motherland. He said, my work is like a marriage, I have deep feelings for every product. This attitude towards work allowed him to reach unparalleled heights in the field of welding. GAO Fenglin's story tells us how an ordinary person becomes a top talent in his field through his efforts and perseverance, making significant contributions to China's aerospace industry. Although his life may seem ordinary, his spirit is worth learning for each of us. His resilience and dedication show us the power of an ordinary person. In the workplace, we should also learn from GAO Fonglin, dare to challenge, dare to innovate, and strive to achieve our life goals. Regardless of the difficulties we face, we should have the courage to face them and the confidence to overcome them. Only in this way can we succeed in the workplace and realize our own value. GAO Fenglin's legendary life is an inspiring story that touches the heart. He tells us with his actions that as long as we are determined and perseverant, we can achieve our dreams and contribute to our country and society. Let us learn from GAO Fonglin and strive for our dreams with our actions. Feel free to share in the comments section. Today's video ends here. See you next time with more exciting content. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.